I would like to say a few words about last night's by-election. How did the Prime Minister still stay on to lead the Liberal Party into the next election, given that you just lost one of the safest seats in the entire country last night? My focus is on your success. If you cannot win in Toronto under Justin Trudeau, why should, he, why should anybody believe you can win anywhere else under him? These are not easy times, and it's clear that I and my entire Liberal team have much more work to do to deliver tangible, real progress. But I want to be clear that I hear people's concerns and frustrations. Before I wrap up, I would like to say a few words about last night's by-election. First, uh, I want to thank all the volunteers and candidates for putting their name forward and participating in this important democratic exercise, including our tremendous Liberal candidate, Leslie Church, who ran a strong and positive campaign. I also want to congratulate Don Stewart on his victory in this tightly fought race. But most of all, I want to thank the people of Toronto St. Paul's for exercising your right to vote and making your voice heard. Now, this was obviously not the result we wanted, but I want to be clear that I hear people's concerns and frustrations. These are not easy times, and it's clear that I and my entire Liberal team have much more work to do to deliver tangible, real progress that Canadians across the country can see and feel. We'll never stop working and fighting to make sure that people have what they need to get through these tough times. My focus is on your success, and that's where it's going to stay. We will now take questions from media. It'll be one question and one follow-up. Please state your name and media outlet before asking your question using the microphones. Good afternoon, Marika Walsh with the Globe and Mail. Um, Deputy Prime Minister, can the Prime Minister still stay on to lead the Liberal Party into the next election, given that you just lost one of the safest seats in the entire country last night? Yes, he certainly can. Can you explain why? Because everybody we're hearing from behind the scenes believes that the result last night means catastrophic losses across the country. If you cannot win in Toronto under Justin Trudeau, why should, he, why should anybody believe you can win anywhere else under him? Our government is focused on working hard for Canada and Canadians and on delivering results for Canada and Canadians. That is what the Prime Minister is focused on. That is what we are all focused on. The Prime Minister is committed to leading us into the next election and he has our support. Hi, next Min question. Hi, Minister Barbara with iPolitics. Um, still about last night's results in Toronto, St. Paul's. Uh, do you think the Liberals need a radical change in strategy and that perhaps a new leader in the party might be a necessary change? I just answered that question. Um, let me say the Prime Minister is focused on delivering for Canada and Canadians. Our whole government is focused on delivering for Canada and Canadians. That's what we're going to continue to do. The result in St. Paul's is certainly disappointing. We knew it was going to be a hard fight. I think it's especially disappointing because so many of us know Leslie. We know how hard she and her team worked. And I do also want to congratulate Don Stewart. He and his team worked hard as well. We know that these are hard times for Canadians. We know that we have to work hard to earn back their trust. And we know that the way to do that is by delivering for them, by delivering fairness for every generation, by delivering investments in housing and infrastructure, including in rural broadband, the investment we're announcing today by delivering investments in making life more affordable for Canadians with things like dental care, which is being rolled out this month to kids under 18, by delivering on a national program of early learning and child care. Already families in Ontario are saving more than $8,000 per child, but we need to get to $10 a day and be sure there are enough spaces for all the families that want a space. We need to keep on delivering investments in our economy and in economic growth. I was at a car parts plant yesterday and I could see the brilliant work the people working there are doing, the workers, the innovators. 
they need our support so that Canada can be on the cutting edge of the 21st century global economy. And we know that we need to deliver all of those investments in a fiscally responsible way so that inflation can continue to stabilize. It's now been within the Bank of Canada's target range for five months in a row. That's good news. We have more work to do so that the Bank of Canada can continue its work bringing rates down. Um, and why exactly do you think uh, the Liberals are failing to retain voters in, in writings like St. Paul's that, you know, the party held for decades? Uh, what is going on? I think I already answered that question, and, and I'll just say um, this is a disappointing result. Uh, we take it seriously. Um, we know we we know that things are hard for people in Canada, and we know we have to work even harder, delivering for Canadians, winning back the trust of Canadians. That's what we're all committed to do. Mr. Freeland, Mark Ramsey with the Toronto Star. Yesterday before the by-election, well, I'll take one more. Yesterday before the by-election, you said the Conservative choice was cold and small, then Canadians in a riding that has been dominated, dominated by your party for years disagreed with you and made that choice. If you don't have your finger on the pulse with voters in Toronto St. Paul's, which voters do you have an understanding of? Thank you for the question and you know this is a disappointing result for us and we take the result really seriously. We know that Canadians are hurting right now, and we know that we have to work hard to win back their trust. We have to work hard to deliver for Canada and Canadians, to deliver with things like building more homes faster, to deliver with programs that make life more affordable for Canadians, like dental care, like early learning and child care, to deliver with investments to grow the economy and to create great jobs. And we know that we need to do it in a fiscally responsible way because it is so important to continue on the path we're on. For five months now, inflation has been within the Bank of Canada's target range. That is good news, but we have more work to do so that we can support the Bank of Canada in lowering rates because we know that that will bring relief to Canada and Canadians. Thank you very much. Did you make a mistake by making those comments? Did you make a mistake by making those comments?